Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Holy Roman Empire is a German Empire. The war with the Soviet Union is finally about to kick off. I mean, we're already at war with the Soviet Union, but we're finally going to start to touch them. Very excited. We're going to wait for Poland to capitulate, and we're going to invade. It's going to be so good. You know, I just realized I haven't saved. I'm going to save. I hope this plan wasn't terrible. Oh, Jesus, I bet it was really terrible. 47 was... 47, um... Well, tension as well, which means that we could actually start to, you know, adjust to find other people soon. Our manpower is still not looking good. That's going to hurt. But we're going to get quite a lot of non-core manpower soon. And annoyingly, I can't get Prince of Terror because he's not fascist. I can't get that non-core manpower. Very unfortunate. Uh, we could get long-range escorts for heavy fighter models, but I don't care about that. Literally everything here is done. Oh, I haven't done any naval rearmament. Jesus, I need to do that now. I need to start preparing for the naval invasion of the UK. Here it comes, guys. But the thing is, Soviet Union is suffering massive, massive equipment deficits. So that's really good. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at our info. Look at our equipment tick up as well. It's going really well. We are not to instigate the conflict. We are not to fight. Why? Why are you not all into it in this? What? Well, doesn't appear like these guys are involved. And it just seems like they're sitting there. Okay. It's odd. Okay, they don't seem to want to uh, join the fray. It's kind of annoying. Looks like I am actually doing quite a lot of fighty fight boom booms, which is good. Because I do want to get engaged, I do want to get stuck in. I'm just checking around the rest of the world, make sure we're not being invaded anywhere. Is the cap again in Africa? Nah, we don't care about that. Come on, Warsaw, it's almost time. God, the AI is so bad at trying to take over rivers. Like, Warsaw is in a really nice position defending from the west. But obviously, if you just go down here and go around it, you win. They've already, already got here, just attack that way. Come on. Oh, they're getting touched. Getting touched, guys. In a deep and uncomfortable way. Uh, we could do war bonds to get some more of that, because we've got a lot of political power that's literally just sitting here. Okay. Ugh. The Democratic Party still exists as well. Ugh. Press censorship to reduce everything. Yeah, let's do that. Dangerous times. You can't let dissenting voices to tear our country apart. Yeah! No, demo no democracy. No democracy. It's for lamos. Mm, Hinterprodon gets one building slot. Region-wide industrial integration. Okay, why not? Just waiting. We're just waiting. Got a nice fallback line. We've got divisions ready. Look at this. We've even got another group of dudes here, too. We're going to give them uh, the Kurt student, who's a really valuable uh, strength. Look at the paratroopers he's got. Holy shit. Let's give Rommel to them, though. like Rommel better. Rommel's got some upgrades. Damn. Which are experts? Oh, these guys are strong. <sighs> well, so it was so close to falling. So close indeed. I think we can probably just stop training divisions now because we are a bit low on manpower. We have lost... I mean, we did lose literally 4 million men in this in the war against France. But the Soviet Union is going to have to fall as well. Losing a little bit here and there. Ah, I have transport planes, actually. Maybe we could use that to try and increase the supply. Yeah. Airdrop supply. The amount of supplies increase. Duh, 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 duh. Let's do it. Once the war begins, obviously. Naval rearmament. They can go naval efforts. That'll be good. Man, it's got really short focus times. Here it comes, boys. All right, at least now we're making a lot of fighters and tanks because we have a lot of oil now. And we're starting to creep up more of artillery. Oh, wow. They're actually getting pushed back a bit. But the Soviet Union will win, win all, you know. There's no way they won't. <clears throat> Come on. Does Poland have planes? They do. I thought maybe I should stop... Yeah, maybe we'll stop making fighters. Stop trying to fight this and let the, let the Soviets win. I would prefer the Soviets to, like, actually win. Then the war would just end, right? 
That's probably I'm probably stopping them getting air superiority. Uh, Japan's kind of bleeding in, which isn't good. Sneaky Japan. Mongolia is almost capitulated. Oh boy. Come on. Just kill them already. They're so bad, Soviet Union. I'm tempted to tag switch over and just push them in, for God's sake. You know what? Let's just do that. They're just taking way too long. What is the, the slowdown, boys? Royce. Take bloody Warsaw. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Christ. Much better. East, northwest, and Germany. This period. No, go away. Luckily, these guys are sticking around nicely. Right, is there anyone else who's not got uh, a general set up? Right, yeah, we have our tanks here. That's why. Right, there we are. Let's just start training these guys as well. Lots of little tanks here, which is nice. Right, there we go. Starting to actually push in a bit. This is a bit this is a bit silly now. Soviet Union. It's a bit silly. We're gonna have to make sure we lay that lay down railroad tracks everywhere we go. Jesus, they're so bad at this. Oh, they've just been encircled as well. Rise. How many men have they lost? They've lost five million men actually. That's pretty large. What is the hold up? Oh my god. Let's start building some battleships. In in a year. Oh, great. Gotta have those battleships, guys. Yes! Finally No, they lose it immediately. <laughs> they take it and lose it. Take it and lose it. They're actually getting pushed back by the Polish. Like that's mad. What is going on? Ah, but Poland's going to lose eventually because they have no manpower. So every damage they take is just going to wreck them. Yeah, no, they're done. They're done. Okay. Um, we could actually be upgrading quite a lot of our things. So, for example, uh, hospitals. A good idea to get that. Do you want to get U-boat effort? Cannot have this and accept British naval dominance. Oh, no! Because you've got naval dominance. Oh, that's bullshit. That's why we got this. I could also support the Finns. Very interesting. Expand dockyard facilities and just get a few dockyards. So why not, right? Do, do, do. Tick tock on the clock. In a bloody long time. We're completely fine for infantry equipment. What's happening elsewhere in the world? Ooh, rocket equipment. Nebel Nice. Uh, we do want to maybe build a few transport ships too. That would be actually be a really good idea to try and get some transport ships. Uh, not transport ships, transport planes. There we go. Um, get some of them. Doopy doopy do doopy do. And we're just going to turn off some of that. Oop. There we are. Now we can get at least some transport planes to try and deal with our deficit. Cool, got the fighters done, which means we can start getting the next, the first beautiful, the Messerschmitt Mi-262. Pale in comparison to the introduction of the first jet fighters. While we have yet to learn how best to construct planes, these engines, regular fighter planes cannot compete. Oh, baby. But I'd like to see. Hey, where's my nuke tech? I thought I got Van der Wolfen. Oh, well, let's, let's start getting techs. Construct the atomic bomb. Let's do it. We're going to nuke the shit out of people, guys. It's going to be great. Right, new fighters. We got lots of air experience. Let's get some of that. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you have to always go one bit below. Otherwise, the reliability doesn't bloody work. So, if there are four reliability and two of everything else. All right, look, we'll, we'll call this. We'll call this the. I'm just gonna. No, not the HRV. Let's call it. Let's call it Lieben. Lieben. Strom. Is that right? I'm sure the commenters will yell at me when I get my spell this wrong, but that's fine. Lieben Strom. Here we go. Jesus Christ, they're taking a long time, though. Like, this is crazy. Come on. Well, let's give me a chance to train my tanks, I guess. We have a lot of tanks. 
Um, let's change the field marshal plan we have here. A wild ace appears. Oh boy. Adolf Kunschner, skilled pilot known as the Call Center Black Devils, distinguished himself as not only returning alive, but pirating his Focke Wolf F FW-190 with immense skill. He's on a mission over east of Germany with um, instrumental success with a critical encounter. A shining example of German courage, Adolf's recent promotion has been highly publicized. Though the people may view war as more held in glory, but they're glad to see there are still heroes to rally behind. Isn't that nice? Where is he? There he is. I do love aces, so they give 6% air attack, 5% air speed, 10% agility, assigned to a wing, ace assigned to a wing larger than 100, so all effects are increased by 50% to compensate. Shit, that's awesome. That's really good. What? So you should always have wings larger than 100 then. Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take switch over the Soviet Union again. This is just getting fucking ridiculous. Guys, what's the problem here? Oh. Oh. The Soviet Union is literally out of equipment. They are quite literally completely out of equipment. Okay. Okay. That's that's sad. That's very sad. Shit. I am paused for an hour. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Oh, nope, I'm loading. Because I, I accidentally let the AI control me for one hour. No, thank you. Jesus. So it looks like, again, we are going to just be sitting here for a while. That's annoying. <sighs> that annoying, guys. I just want them to... I just want to win. I just want to fight. Get stuck in. Murder people. Can't I murder people, guys? I just don't understand why it's not allowed in today's in this today's society. Like there we go, Wunderbuffel. That was weird. Didn't fire earlier. Very strange. Some of that. And we can improve the fighters. So once again, I have to go. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh god, I have to try and spell Liebenstrom again. Lieben. Oh god, Liebenstrom. I think I'm spelling it differently this time. Jesus. No. Oh, no. Alright, let's just keep trying to build uh, Bismarck Christ battleships. Also, we probably want to get some carriers together. Uh, and let's keep going someone's decryption as well. But yeah, there's just still not really much we can do. We just have to kind of sit here. So it looks like the Soviet Union is so completely and totally out of equipment that we literally have no hope of ever declaring war on them, of ever fighting them, because they're just killing them. Ah! I can actually... That's very interesting. So I could actually join them. I could actually join Poland and join this war. And then I could leave the faction. <laughs> oh, no, but I don't want to do that. But I could actually ask for military access. That's interesting. That's interesting. I now have military access. That's interesting. Could I try something a bit sneaky here, then? Could I just try and fight them? I'm, I'm curious to see what happens here. Yes, that's interesting. So I now have military access. And I have lots of tanks. Can I just start fighting them? Yeah, I think I can. This is going to be very interesting. Oh, I'm not building transport planes because I uh, whoopsie doodled it. Yankee doodle fucky. There we go. Oh, this is a bit spicy, isn't it? It looks like the Polish are now leaving my front to try and reinforce along there, so that's good. Alright, this will be interesting. This will be very interesting indeed. Wow, they have like no supply. Oh, wow, they have literally no supply. 
This is terrible. They have nothing. They're just out of everything. Oh my god. I'm just going to annihilate them then. Look at this. It's not even a contest. They have nothing. Oh, they can pierce me, actually. Two of the divisions can actually pierce me. Even this one is still messing them up. Damn, man. Jesus. Oh, we could help Poland. And that would increase world tension like crazy, because when they occupy stuff, so then I'd be fighting Poland. I could actually justify on Poland itself. That could be fun. I could help out Poland win the war. Oh, that's that's devilish. Help Poland win the war. And then betray Poland. <laughs> oh, then I'd be fighting like a super Poland, wouldn't I? Oh, that's a cool plan. That's a messed up plan. Am I seriously going to be helping Poland win this? Okay, it's not even a contest, though. I'm annihilating them. You know what? This might actually just be the smartest thing possible. So let's just do this. Fuck it. Let's go. Do this thing. Just take Moscow. Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up. That is so messed up. Look at what we're doing. Oh no. I'm helping Poland win the war. <laughs> I'm going to be using my own men to destroy the Soviet Union. Okay. Hello? Oh man, this is disgusting. I'm pretty offended. Let's go. Let's get stuck in, boys. Oh, they literally can't do anything. Uh, let's delete these tracks here. Here we go. Jesus. Look at this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to claim anything. I'm just going to help them win. I'm just going to let them win. Let's just do it. That's mad. I'm between construction business suppression, air production, construction engineering. Let's get naval production. No, let's do air production first. Oh my god, look at this. There's nothing they can do. I guess just do this until we wipe out the Soviet Union then for Poland. This is honestly quite revolting to watch. Let's set up another offensive line because it's a bit janky right now. Yeah, the AI for this is just so broken, honestly. Why is it only 24? What's going on? God even cares or knows. So, quite literally, they, they can do nothing because they have no strength. Jesus. Just slaughtering them. Oh, man. These guys, I want you to go right to Moscow. Go, go, go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Try and get some of these planes together. <laughs> oh, no. This is weird. This is so broken. I was I thought they would immediately kill Poland, but it turns out they're so low on equipment they just can't. I guess we just helped Poland win the war. I could actually join the faction and then leave it afterwards, couldn't I? That's a possibility. Yeah, I could join the faction and then leave it immediately. 
uh, once the war is over and help them out. That could work. <laughs> you know what? Let's save and do that. Let's save, let's join the faction. You know, overwrite the save. You're right, mate. Ridiculous. And I can and I join your wars. Yeah, can I join, please? Bit buggered. All right, and then I can just leave. Ah, not alive when fighting in a war together. Ah, okay. But you know, it's only the Soviet Union, so <laughs> this is so stupid. Call to arms from Empire of Japan. No, no, thank you. Right. For some reason, it's still not putting everyone on this line. I really don't know what it's doing. What is happening? Let's try that again. Here we go. And now we're going to put a front line all the way over here. There we go. Much better. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we're doing this. I guess we're doing this. Right. All right. In the next episode, um, I'm just going to wipe out Scott the Soviet Union and help make Poland great again. <laughs> we're just going to invade all the way to Moscow, fight all the way through, and then use that to kind of binge through. We're basically, we're helping out. We're internationalists. What we are. We are internationalists. We are helping everyone out. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment in the video, guys. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldrin, and I continue to be. This has been some Hearts of Iron 4, playing the Holy Roman Empire. Bye-bye.